Hello, my name is Brendan Conway-Smith, together with Robert West from Carleton University. This is a pre-recorded presentation for the 2022 International Conference on Cognitive Modeling. Our paper is clarifying System 1 and 2 through the common model of cognition. So our paper has analyzed the renowned dual process framework of System 1 and System 2 using the common model. Our intent was to clarify its underlying mechanisms and misconceptions. So this framework is used in various fields increasingly, uh, such as psychology, philosophy, neuroscience, and artificial intelligence. This framework ascribes distinct characteristics to opposing aspects of cognition, and this is also called the alignment problem. System one is considered evolutionarily old, it's fast, associative, emotional, it's automatic, and does not require working memory. System two is thought to be more evolutionarily recent, uh, considered to be slow, declarative, rational, effortful, and relying on working memory. So this is how system one and system two is thought to represent deep characteristics of human cognition. There are some criticisms. System 1 and System 2 has been critiqued as lacking conceptual clarity, as obscuring the complexities of psychological processes, which then leads to misconceptions. Um, and an original creator of the dual system theory stated that current theories are framed in general terms and are yet to be developed in terms of their specific computational architecture. So to answer this, we are trying to clarify the general terms of System 1 and System 2 using the common model of cognition. And to do this, uh, we're, we're going to be using this methodology as a way of answering some very significant questions, such as, in what sense is System 1 and System 2 a valid construct? What are the necessary and sufficient conditions that precisely define System 1 and 2? And what are the cognitive and neural alignments to both systems. So these are questions we're going to be answering using the common model of cognition. So the common model is a consensus architecture that integrates decades of research on how human cognition functions computationally. There are five components derived empirically from large-scale neuroscience and empirical research, as well as integrating the, the common components of different cognitive architectures. The five Components are working memory, perception, action, declarative memory, and procedural memory, which doesn't align well with the two systems in the System 1, System 2 framework. And so this uh, requires some reckoning. Now, the common model of cognition, uh, there are various architectures that have sought to model System 1 and System 2, such as Clarion and Lida, and um, we're going to use the common model as a way of getting precisely to the, the base components that give rise to the general terms uh, used in System 1. And we're going to show, using the common model, that System 1 characteristics, associative, emotional, and automatic, can apply to System 2, and that many System 2 characteristics, such as being uh, declarative and effortful can apply to system one. And in terms of the system one characteristics that apply to system two, it is said that system one and system two line up with procedural knowledge and declarative knowledge. And yet, declarative memory has properties associated with system one. It can be evolved in associative learning. It can implement heuristics that leverage associative learning. And declarative knowledge requires procedural knowledge to be retrieved and acted on, as declarative memory cannot operate without procedural rules. Uh, further, emotional biases can overwhelm rational processes, and some think that rationality is not possible without emotion, that any instrumentally rational system must necessarily pursue desires. Conversely, system two characteristics can also apply to System 1. From a common model perspective, production rules necessarily fire off buffer content. 
And what that means is that buffers, working memory, is needed in system one, which is contrary to what is conventionally thought. Buffers are necessitated by production rules. Working memory is necessary, uh, is needed by procedural knowledge. And this is an architectural constraint of the common model. Further, system one can induce effort, also contrary to what is conventionally thought. Now, effort is mainly associated with system two rationality, um, and a precise definition of effort is pretty elusive. Now, in the common model, effort involves greater computational resources, as declarative knowledge is more taxing to working memory and more productions are needed to manage information in limited buffer space. So effort, in this case, can be thought of as processes, any processes that are more cognitively expensive. Um, now, this can be understood more clearly through System 1, System 2 metacognition. Now, this dual system framework has also been used and is increasingly used to clarify the nature of metacognition and to get clear on the, the complexities involved. And it is recognized that both System 1 and System 2 metacognition can enact monitoring and control processes. Now, System 1 metacognition, research shows, can implicitly prompt a person to expend cognitive effort should the reward outweigh the cost. So, for example, say someone's at a conference and they are implicitly motivated to focus their attention. Now, this is a, a common occurrence. Everyone can understand what it's like to, uh, to be implicitly motivated to focus based on situational context. But this shows that effort is not necessarily uh, the, the sole privy of system two rationality. Because here in this instance, and um, we can see that effort is context driven, implicit, non-conceptual. And conversely, system two metacognition uses concepts to, to apply effort. So for instance, um, a conference goer can act out a verbal instruction to pay attention. And here the effort is explicit and concept driven. The results of using the common model to clarify system one and two to arrive at the base components of this framework is that one, system two is grounded in system one. Both system one and two depend on procedural memory. System two cannot operate separately due to the architectural constraint of the common model. Two, both system one and system two require working memory. Production rules, procedural knowledge, fire off the content of buffers, working memory, and each are required by both systems. Three, system one and system two characteristics are mixed as they routinely act together. Goal-directed rationality often requires affect, desired ends. Also, system two rationality is subject to system one affective biases. And lastly, point four, Effort can be directed towards both System 2 rationality and System 1 metacognitive control. Effort in System 1 can be based on an implicit cost-benefit analysis. In conclusion, the common model clarifies the mechanisms that give rise to the general characteristics of System 1 and System 2. The alignment assumption that both systems have opposing characteristics we conclude is a false dichotomy. Both systems have a mixture, a blending of properties, and few properties are necessary and sufficient to be sharply definitive of either system. Of course, there are cases where all properties of system one and two cleanly fall on either side, but between these two extremities lies a spectrum where characteristics are mixed. So by situating system one and two in the common model, this sheds light on this framework's mechanisms, its misconceptions, and the base components needed for future research.